What is going on guys, it's your boy Prestige Prince and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing host to the main event of UFC 262 where the lightweight title will finally be crowned on a new man. We are in the post Habib era and a new lightweight champion will be crowned between a fascinating, a fascinating matchup between a Division 1 All-American wrestler taking on probably the most aggressive man in black belt jiu-jitsu, in jiu-jitsu itself, in Charles Oliveira. This man has spent a total of two minutes, a total of two minutes and maybe 15 seconds before getting a UFC title shot. And you have a man on the other hand who has spent more than eight hours in the octagon before getting a UFC title shot. So very, very different contrast of time before getting a UFC title shot. But only one of them will be crowned. Both have lost before. Both have quit before. By this time, they look to achieve their dreams. In a contest that could go either way. I have absolutely no idea how this is going to pan out. Chandler thinks Charles is going to quit. But I long not forget. Chandler was saying stop himself. Uh, so this fight as I said could go either way. We are on a mission with this man. Who is on an 8 fight win streak. Only 2 wins. And coming in the top 10. With Kevin Lee and Tony Ferguson being defeated. Like Kevin Lee was good. That was actually the first proper fight of the whole COVID restrictions in a complete empty arena when you uh, beat Kevin Lee uh, by GNT. So um, yeah, it's going to be super interesting. Uh, with, with the Tony win, I mean, Gaethje beat the brakes off him. It's not the same Tony uh, like it was back in the day. So very interesting match, to say the least. But none, 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 none of that. We are live with Bruce Buffer's introduction as Dan, Dan, Dan Mergliara. Take center stage as the referee for this contest. And now, Charles is pumped. He's got the Brazilian shorts on. The Brazilian championship shorts on, he believes. But this man is just on a mission. This man cuts promos, looks good, fights good. He looks to get that belt around his face and become the money man in the lightweight division. As there are sharks in this division at the moment. It would have been nice to see Habib and Charles. I would have loved to seen the jiu-jitsu and... Uh, Ex exchanges with him and Habib. I mean, especially with Charles being uh, at the bottom, it would have just been super interesting. But we're never going to see. Unfortunately, I, I think Habib is just retired. I, I don't think he's ever coming back. Even if he does come back when he's 36, 37, he's still kind of in his prime because it's not really that old, really. I mean, Anson started his career at the same age of Habib retiring. So even if he does come back later on, you never know. He's he's, he's more supporting uh, Islam Makachev until I think I think until he get, the only way if he gets killed or something. And then Habib will come back. But other than that, I just don't, I don't, I don't really see him coming back. He loves his life. I think, I think it just takes a toll on his mother as well. But we're not here to talk about Habib. Enough of me bickering on about that man. Uh, we are here to crown a new lightweight champion, and this man is absolutely pacing through the blocks. He looks to get his hands on Michael Chandler from Sao Paulo, Brasilia. The man with 30 wins and eight losses. He looks to make it 31 and 8 tonight. Oh, don't give me this bouncing. What is this bouncing around for? What is this about? You're not two hooligans looking to fight. Give me a proper stare down, will ya? Even the model, the, yeah, the, the models are not even that good. They, they need to. It looks, it looks barely like him. He's ready. He's ready. Enough of me crit criticizing. Let's get it on. Here we go. Is it going to be a two? Oh, lovely check. Check straight away. Right hook there by Chandler. Is he going to use his wrestling? Going to be very, very interesting, those exchanges. Because they both have very, very, so I say similar striking. The way Charles looked recently, he's just been look, he looks like he's in the best form of his life. Ooh, just nice duck under there. Comes back with a right hook over the top by Chandler. Oh, left hook there. Oh, I think he had him rocked. Oh, he's going for the takedown. Takedown there by Charles. Stuffed there by Chandler. Has him in position. Just throws the fires away in uppercut. Very interesting exchange there. Head kick landed there. I think he just stepped back. I don't, don't think he rocked him there. All right hook there by Chandler. Chandler coming out the blocks. Leg kick thrown. Nice oh, spinning. Back kick there by Charles. Both of them just coming out the gates. This swipe likes to be lost. fast paced action. We don't want to see no attentiveness. We don't want to see no Adesanya Romero too. Superman punch there. Just denied by Michael. 
Chandler there with a left kick. Oh, he's again, he's looking for the takedown. Didn't expect this. I expect Michael to be shooting, but I think that's where he feels comfortable at the moment. But those takedowns again, Stuff comes back with a body shot of his own. Up top there by Chandler, who looks to be a bit more active at the moment, landing a lot more strikes. Some right hook there again, going for the takedown shot there deep. Oh, he's on his feet. Oh, again, Stoff. Great takedown defense there. Three out of three that have been denied by Chandler. Excellent takedown defense by this man at the moment. He wants to be champ. He wants to be champ at the moment. He just looks to finish. Charles, oh, lovely left hook there with a body shot followed. Damn right back and forth we go. I think Charles is bleeding already on his left eye. And the clinch. Oh, massive knee there by Chandler. How has he not dropped from there? Oh, front kick there. What's your attempt going for? Takedown. Stopped his tracks on a right hook again. He looks to finish him. Can he finish him by TKO? Body shots landing. Oh, and Charles. You got to be careful when you step into Charles because he will submit you from anywhere. If he grabs onto something, you best believe it's over. Very, very rarely this man grabs something and let's go. Unless he's fighting Anthony Pettis. <laughs> when we move, he's not that same guy anymore. He looks to be in the prime of his life, but it's not looking good for me. Up. An extra start, deep double leg there. Great shot there by Charles. Nan Wayne, where he feels the most comfortable in half guard already. He looks to go for Mao. He's looking for an arm triangle. He looks to step over. As I said, when he really grabs onto something, he really lets go. Is he, is he tight in? He's tight in. He's going for an arm triangle. Chandler just about defending. He does it out fully tight on at the moment. Can he escape? He's got it in tight. He's got. He just needs to step over. If this was actually in the fight. Yeah, stepped over. He stepped over. Uh, no, no, no. He's, he's not submitted him. He is not submitted him. He's looking for the mount position. He looks to pass through on mount. What's going on here? What's going on here? Is, is the round over? No, what was going on? It was just like he was hugging him and humping him. What was going on there? What a very interesting first round. Look at Michael there. Just chopping. Chandler just chopping the wood there. Very, oh, uh, oh, look at this, caught him coming in. He tried, he was the opposite of Derek Lewis and Curtis Blaze, but he caught him with the uppercut, but he just caught him with a front kick. That was a Sean O'Malley to Almeida, a right hook there, landing right on the face of Charles. There. I don't know how he survived that. Very interesting first round. Ending the round, you'd give it to Charles, but the majority of the round, win the knockdown, you'd give that to Chandler. I have, I have that Chandler one. Oh, right hook there, straight away, just rocks him. Chandler there. There was right hook right up top there by Chandler. Vicious. Possessing a line. Another one. He can't take too many of those. He's going to fall out. He can't take too many of those. Chandler just looks to be a step up on the strike. And I'm going for a takedown again. Oh, he's got him again. He's tried to stuff it, but he just couldn't. Can Chandler use the cage in his advantage? But no, he can't. Early takedown there from Oliveira. Can he sum up a submission this time and grab onto it? Pass to half guard straight away. I mean, the grand game of this man. Oh, he's in mount. He is in mount position already. How easy was that? Just with ease. Especially some of the transition he was doing in the Tony fight. I mean, sublime transitions. Especially with ease. And Tony's a black belt himself. As I said, it wasn't the same Tony. And mount again. Just pass him out with ease. Oh, look at him just pouring, pouring the face on uh, Chandler there. He's looking for submission again. He's looking for an armbar. He's looking for Kimura. We don't know yet. He's got it on tight. He's got it. Is he going to step over? Is he going to step over? It looks to be tight in. It looks to be tight in. He's looking for a triangle. Is he looking for a triangle? He's tight in. He's tight in. He's tight in. Is he, is he going to switch to one over to an armbar? He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's tapped. He's tapped. He's tapped. His tap and it is all over. You can't count this man out. You can't count this man out. This man was rocked, dropped, nearly stopped. But guess what? He wasn't out. Now we have a new lightweight champion of the world. He almost looked like a, a rock old submission there back in the day. Who, who was it? I think it was Tim Bosch. I'm not sure. I, th I think it was Tim. We just caught him in a nasty submission. Oh, just had the legs just absolutely tightened around his neck. Oh, my, oh my goodness. You just don't, don't want to be caught in that. Look how tight that is. You, where are you going to go from that? Especially with the, the grip this man has. We have a new lightweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen. That man is Charles Oliveira. He has achieved the dream. He moves to nine. He moves to nine. A nine-fight win streak.
and not and still and new UFC lightweight champion of the world from Sao Paulo, Brasilia. The irony of this man saying Charles is going to quit. He's quit himself. He's tapped. He's hit the thigh of Charles Oliveira. And it's over. Dana, oh, he doesn't look too pleased. He just thought Charles was going to win. You know what happens when Dana's pissed off. Don't expect be expecting post-fight greetings from this man. Oh, that's a thorough handshake from there. And a new lightweight champion. Not focused on Dana by submission. It's all over. Round two. Oh, how cool does that belt look on him? The gold matches the shorts as he hugs his teammates. And he's achieved the lifelong dream of becoming a UFC champion. There you have it. The man of the hour. And the man of the octagon who takes center stage. Let me know what you guys think what's going to happen in the fight. Let me know your predictions. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Take care and peace.